Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Todd here with us this morning, and Todd was referred in by one of our patients, Craig. Thank you, Craig, for the referring him in. And Todd's been adjusted over a hundred times, but he came here uh, based on the referral by his uh, friend and our patient, Craig, uh, because I do full body adjusting. And then you've watched some of our videos now on YouTube, yes, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm going to check your posture first here now. Todd, let's have you flex your head forward and backwards for me, please, sir. And then back to neutral. Okay, see his head's a little forward and pointed down. His ear's all the way out here over his clavicle. Should be back here over his shoulders. That's why his shoulders are rounding forward a lot. And he has a lot of tightness up across his shoulders and between shoulder blades. Came in here mostly with low back pain and, and pain that radiated down into his right thigh, posterior thigh, uh, cervical thoracic pain, tension headaches occasionally, right elbow pain, left elbow pain, right knee pain, numbness and tingling in your arms and hands when you sleep wrong, right? Or yes, sleep sir. on your shoulders or arms. And you're not coming here for treatment for this, but he also has been diagnosed recently, a month ago, with some acid reflux and hiatal hernia, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's, we've already done his orthopedic neurological evaluation, so I'm going to start adjusting him now, so we can go ahead and lay on your tummy. So we're going to see how Todd likes the Johnson technique versus the hundred other chiropractic adjustments he's had. Left leg short by about a half an inch. It gets even when I bring it up. That probably tightens up in your lower back, doesn't it? Yes, sir, it does. Yeah. And I did a sacral deviation test on him, too. Lift your right leg up. Good. Now your left one. And you can see it's doesn't, the left leg doesn't come up as high, and that was more difficult on the left, wasn't it? Yes, sir. So that left leg short being even when I bring it up, that's a positive deer field test. I also had a positive knuckles test because it raised his pelvis up and caused pain in his low back. And then the sacral deviation test was positive to the left as well. So I'm going to start off adjusting his left SI joint. There we go. Now Todd was a, a good new patient because he brought in x-rays and MRIs for me to review before we even did the examination so during our history I reviewed the x-rays and MRIs of his cervical thoracic and lumbar spine so if you're coming here as a new patient and you've already had x-rays or MRIs or CT scans or any other diagnostic tests bring those with you That's a great benefit for me to see those before I get started adjusting. Good. Okay, let's turn you on your back now, please, sir. Now, Todd's been adjusted before where they twist him on his side and rotate him. So this would be one of your first adjustments not getting that done, right? Yes, sir. There we go. Yep. Okay, slide down about an inch. And put your arms straight out to the sides for me. That way, palms up, both of them. Okay. I'm going to adjust your shoulders, your clavicles where it attaches to your sternum, and your anterior AC joints here, or costosternal joints, I mean. There we go. Good. Okay, now relax your hands on your tummy. Let me have your leg go limp. There you go. Should have felt that from your knee all the way up to your low back, Todd. I even felt it a little bit in my neck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let this relax. There you go. Good job. Okay, let's sit you up and face this way. Get up sideways. Oh, yep. yeah. Good man. Learned that for a long attention. time ago. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Yeah, you know, having chronic back pain will change your life, won't it? It will. Makes working more difficult. Pleasure activities more difficult. Mm -hmm. Sleeping even. There we go. And Todd lives and works up in Kingswood, which is a northern suburb of Houston. 
What's that about? 30 miles north of here? Uh, 45? About, no, not even that far. Okay. Uh, Let's come over here on this table now. Probably about 15 miles. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and lay on your back with your butt there. Head up that way. So I'm going to adjust him from head to toe literally today. You notice he's got his shoes off, so I'm going to adjust his feet and his toes and his arch. There you go, lay flat. You know, just keep laying flat. Okay, does it feel like you're in there tight? Yeah, it feels good, actually. Just relax your hands on your tummy there. Let your legs bend and relax naturally. This is what I'm talking about, elevating your legs up. To where I have your bottom leg up parallel mm -hmm. with your floor. I heard something about being zero gravity or something on your back or something like that when you sleep this way. Well, it's not really zero gravity because gravity is pulling down to the earth. So right. You don't have zero gravity unless you're in space. <laughs> there you go. Now you should have felt that one all the way down. That's a rain dinger for the ages there. Yeah, it was. Holy moly. Yep, you're still kicking. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, relax your head in my hands here now. Let me do the work for you. Good. Same here, I got you. Look at your right big toe. There you go, good. I love you already. <laughs> Is that different than the 100 plus adjustments oh you've ever God. had? Yes. After we get done here, I'll let you tell them how. Okay, let's get up sideways and come over here in front of the mirror again. There you go. Okay, let's have you flex your head forward and backwards for me. Yeah, that's already better than it was when you walked mm -hmm, in. I can tell the difference. Take a look in the mirror now, so you're not so far forward anymore. Mm -hmm. And you got more equal spacing down here now, too. So here's your homework, though. You're going to lift your shoulders up, pull them back simultaneously, flare these hands way back like this. Now your head's forward. So we're going to bring it straight back, and I want you to look back at the wall behind you. Complete extension. Yep. You're going to feel a little tap there. Another little tap there. Okay, now. Let's have you flex your head forward and backwards again. This should feel like it's on a swivel this time. Holy moly. should feel like I put a little WD-40 in there. <laughs> Just the... The, the motion I got in it is a lot more, I think. Yeah, I mean, Should've it felt, felt like my chin, I, I ran it all the way down to yep. the, which earlier I didn't go down that far. Yep. So, Todd, you've had hundreds of other chiropractic adjustments. How did this adjustment do for you for the very first time versus those other hundred? What's the difference? Uh, People always want to know the difference between what I do and what other chiropractors do. Well, I've never had whatever you did to the me. Manual the manual spinal decompression. Right. And that, I felt that it popped. All the way down. Adjusted. Right. The word, you know, yeah. uh, all the way. I felt it all the way up right. through my neck and And you've got those degenerative discs down there, so that helps take that pressure off those flat tires in your disc. Right, right. It, it should I, open I up the nerve better. opening, do you? Mm -hmm. Good. It's been about three weeks or so since my last adjustment from mm -hmm. another chiropractor. Right. And I was starting to really feel it like I needed it, because after a few weeks, right. I don't go... Right. And especially in my line of work, right. know, I can get pretty tired. Right. I'm starting to feel it. So Good. So would you recommend this experience to others? Yes, I would. Okay. Anybody that has back pain, come see Dr. Gregory Johnson. Thank you very much for <laughs> sharing you. your story, Todd. All right. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson at Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. We'll see y'all soon.